Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the Windows 10 error code 0XC000034. So if you're getting this blue screen, this tutorial will be for you. So I'm going to go over a couple different ways on how to hopefully resolve this issue. The first one would be if you can successfully power off your computer three times in a row. So just hold down your power button three times to do a hard power off. You want to load the automatic repair utility which should start automatically. If you're unable to get to that utility, I'd recommend downloading the Windows 10 Media Creation Utility and booting your computer off of that. And then it's pretty straightforward. I've made tutorials of that in the past if you're unsure of how to do it. Microsoft has made it very simple and straightforward. And as long as you have a DVD or a supportable USB drive that can boot off of your computer, then this should work perfectly fine as well. And if you need to go into your BIOS settings and change the boot order, you're welcome to do that as well. I've made videos of that in the past. So without further ado, let's say you've already have the DVD burned and you're out of the boot menu here. I'm going to be booting off of the Windows 10 Media Creation Utility that I created and I'm going to press any key to boot off of that device. Okay, so for Windows Setup here, you want to left click on the Next button. And now for Windows Setup, instead of clicking on Install Now, you want to left click on this Repair Your Computer option right here. Underneath Choose an Option, left click on the Troubleshoot tile. And now you want to select the Startup Repair, which should fix problems to keep Windows from loading. So left click on that. Choose the Target Operating System. I'm going to choose Windows 10 there. And just be patient, this will take a couple minutes to run.
Okay guys, so in my case, to start prepare clean and repair your PC, hopefully in your case it will be able to and the computer would restart. If it's not, I would recommend clicking on this advanced options button again, go back in the troubleshoot area to reset your PC or see advanced options, and there's quite a few different options in here as well. I'd recommend also checking out the system restore tab, which will use a restore point recorder on your PC to restore Windows. And then again, you would choose the targeted operating system. If you had any restore points listed in here, I'd recommend going back to them. So again, I would highly suggest that one as well. Underneath troubleshooting, and if you had any system image backups, you could select this tile. And if you wanted to go back to a previous version of Windows 10, you can click on that. And that should hopefully roll back any major build updates to your version of the Windows 10 operating system. It says this won't affect your personal files, but you'll lose any changes you made to your apps and settings since your most recent update. At this point, I recommend going back to your previous version, and hopefully that would resolve your problem as well. Now, it's such a generic issue that hopefully one of these methods, and there's quite a few different tools in here I'd recommend trying. There's really no harm in trying any of them. You can always reset your computer back to a default state, but I would suggest not doing that until a worst case scenario, basically reformatting your computer. And you can see by downloading the Windows 10 DVD, you could have clicked on that install now button. And that's basically how you would reinstall Windows 10 from there. But I just want to put that out there. And I do hope this brief tutorial was able to offer you guys some suggestions and hopefully was able to resolve your issue with your Windows computer. So as always, thank you guys for watching. I look forward to catching you all in the next video and take care. Goodbye.